Does your nude lip look washed out? Do you know you can go as light as you want with your lipsticks without looking washed out? Hi everyone, it's Smitha. Welcome back. Today I'm going to be showing you the right way to apply light lipsticks. No matter what your skin tone is, you're going to look good every time you use this trick. So without further delay, let's begin. Before I apply lipstick, I like to prep my lips. So I usually use a lip scrub just to lightly exfoliate my lips. And then I use some kind of a lip mask or something to keep it moisturized. Here I'm using the Jouer Lip Enhancer. I'm lightly massaging my lips with it and then I'm going to wipe it off before I apply the lipstick itself. To demonstrate today's technique, I'm using one of my favorite lip crayons. This is from House Labs in the shade Influencer. Let me go ahead and use this. And as you can see, the color is absolutely stunning. But when I apply it like this, it looks completely washed out. So instead of applying it like this, I'm going to be using it with a lip pencil. This is the lippy pencil in Bad Habit. This is from ColourPop. It's from the Such a Flirt set. I love the set. I use it so often. It's got all your neutral pinky nude shades. I'm going to link it down below in the description box. So do check that out. I'm going to use this to line the borders of my lips. You can make this as thick or as thin as you prefer. I like to make it a little bit thicker because I will be shading this later just to make the blending easy with the lipstick itself. To diffuse this out, I'm going to be using the Ofra Pro 10 brush. This is a lip brush. All I'm doing here is I'm pushing that lip pencil towards the lip to soften it. I'm almost using a crimson shade of lip pencil here. It doesn't have to be this dark. You can go lighter. Uh, just make sure it's at least two shades deeper than your skin tone. And now I'm going to fill the rest of the lip with the Lip Crayon Influencer from House Labs that I absolutely love. And as you can see, it's already not looking as washed out as it was looking previously. And we will be shading this a second time because if you leave it as is, you can clearly see the pencil at the border. So you can either use your finger or the brush, or you can also rub your lips against each other to blend everything out. And that'll make everything look soft and shaded and give you a nice diffuse look on your lips while keeping the borders of the lips really crisp and nice. I've also observed that the lip pencils make your lips appear bigger than when you apply the lipstick directly. Let's look at the before one more time. You can see how washed out it is. And here is the after, after applying the lip pencil at the borders. And you can see what a big difference it makes. My favorite way to finish this up is with the lip gloss. I'm going to be using the House Labs lip gloss in Entrance. This is a transparent lip gloss. I just feel like while plumping the lips even more, it brings all the shades together and gives you a seamless look when you use a lip gloss. If you don't prefer to use a gloss, you can leave it as is. So that'll give you a very matte ombre look. Again, here's the before and here is the after, after applying the lip gloss. Absolutely love it. Let's wipe this off and I'm going to try this with a very light lipstick and one of my drugstore favorites. This is the Rimmel Moisture Renew Lipstick in 710, which is first class nude. I love this color. This is one of those lipsticks that I always have in my handbag. It's very comfortable on the lips. It's ultra lightweight, so perfect for an everyday wear. But you can see how washed out it looks when I apply it by itself. Now I'm going to be using it with one of my all-time favorite lip liners. This is from Jordana in Rock and Rose. As you know, Jordana is no longer in business. And this was one of their top selling lip liners. So it's pretty much sold out everywhere. But you get other shades that are similar to this, which I'm going to link down below in the description box. So do check that out. And because this lip liner is not too deep as compared to the lipstick, I'm not going to shade it twice. I'm going to apply the lipstick and then I'm going to shade it at the end. This is my personal favorite lip combo when it comes to nude. It's affordable. It goes with any outfit, any skin tone, and it looks very classy. I'm going to use the lip brush to shade both the lip products together so there's no harsh lines in the borders and everything looks well blended. 
And depending on the final look that you're going for, you can use pink tones, you can use brown tones, you can use gray tones, you can use cooler tones, you can use whatever you want at the lip border. Let's look at the before one more time. And here is the after. Although the shades are so subtle, it makes such a huge difference and it looks so beautiful. With this technique, you can go as light as you want with your lipstick. That's the fun part. So you have all the flexibility. You don't have to worry about, you know, the lipstick being two shades deeper or lighter or any such. Just use the lipstick that you want with a lip pencil. Don't overthink if a lipstick is going to look good on you or not. Just go for it. That's what makeup is all about. It's about experimenting with different shades, different textures. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Please thumbs up if you did. And if you're new here, please consider subscribing. And do check out the description box for all the products that I used along with links to my social media. I hope you'll follow me there. I love you guys so much. And I will see you soon with a brand new one. Bye, guys.